Father Zora exodus from inner earth to the surface begins. There are many, not many beings of this kingdom who have already begun their path to the surface. Frequencies are given so you can tune into the planet at surface level. They have prepared and are preparing ground for the upcoming planetary events, form part of the commission appointed by the home government of the kingdom of Agartha. They are beings who go with an entourage, with special commissions and will perform various functions, not only at the level of exchange, in governmental relations, but also in science, to bring science closer to spirituality. To go dethroning that positivist science, you have to verify everything to give it certainty. That's why the spiritual world doesn't exist for them, it's a utopia. Now with this commission we're sending from scientists from Agartha Kingdom, science has already begun to take on a different nuance. And science will be made to work on spirituality as it was in the times of Greece and other times, where spirituality and science shared spaces. Science was not separated from spirituality. My beloved, I say to you, that we here in the underground city, in the kingdom of Agartha, are willing and determined to assist you. From a while ago, there are people of ours and every day there are more. That exodus of beings from the underworld city to the surface has begun. Backed by energies, yes. Taking another appearance of course. But beings of light bringing information to new science. For a science open to spirituality, science and the new earth that is already emerging live together and will live together. They are never separated nor loved mine. Only for the convenience of those who dominated them at that time on the surface. The surface dwellers wanted to divide it to win in their artifacts of controlling humanity. They left religion on one side, spirituality, to have control and science on the other separate. Science has to coexist with spirituality, because there is no science, but there is no spirituality my beloved. Because everything obeys energy, everything obeys what is manifold for the world of you. There are variables that the scientists of the plane, on the side of the scientists who are positivists, of that area that you have to verify to reproduce and reproduce to be able to confirm that it is true. In this spiritual world none of that exists, because every time it is different variables that intervene. And they know it and they have kept humanity wrapped in this paradigm. And many say that they are square-minded and that they are pure science, but science has nothing my dears. This Agartha group of high science very connected to spiritual science, of the science you know, will go to work and work the new science of the new earth. As it always was in the past and as it will be for the new 5D land. The old paradigm of modern science is broken and new paradigms are open to the new spiritual science. Non-religious, spiritual that rules the whole universe. The universe is governed by a science from a spiritual approach not from a human approach as current science has. My beloved, I tell you, be patient because the schemes are already breaking. Some scientists have already led the way. Some have been placed as crazy, or executed, removed, not published their articles and their investigations and others have been murdered. In the name of them all, you will see as this science, real science, takes its way in honor of all, all these great martyrs. Let's walk towards new science. Towards the new unified science to spirituality, for this new 5D earth. I say my goodbyes. I am Father Zora for everyone and here we will always be holding hands, because the surface population and the intraterrestrial population of Agartha are so connected that many do not imagine. Go ahead my beloved ones. Emmanuel and Pastor, thank you for giving me this opportunity to deliver this information. I bless you all and all children of Father Mother Adonai.